Someone who also made that journey is former Labour councillor and now Conservative MP for Ashfield, Lee Anderson, who last week at the conference uh, was made the new chairman of the Blue Collar Conservative Group. And he joins us now. So, Lee, great for you to be here with us. I want to know, can Liz Truss appeal to the blue collar voters as much as Boris Johnson did? It, well, it's, uh, it's a tough act to follow, is Boris, because he did, he did uh, reach right across the country, quite right, rest of morning, Phil. Uh, but she's got a job on her hands. But that said, you know, we all have a responsibility who sit on those green benches behind Liz to make sure that we can reach out to the Red War voters and connect and have those serious and honest conversations that made five million people vote Conservative for the first time. Look, and if we don't, don't blame the Prime Minister. I'm going to blame people like myself. You know, I'm embedded in my community, in a working class community, a traditional Labour heartland. You know, if I reach out and speak and deliver on the promises made, then we should be OK. So, Lee, what, 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 what do you think, Liz, if you speak to Liz Truss, what would you say is the policies that she needs to adopt in order to make sure that those five million people that you just referred to who voted Conservative for the first time do so again next time? Well, I think we've already got the policies, Phil. We just need to deliver on them. I think a big one for me in, in an area like Ashfield is the small boats. That's massive, absolute massive um, inquiry in my inbox at the moment. We've not gone on top of it. Hopefully now with the, with the new Home Secretary who's making the right noises, we can get on top of that. Upskilling, a big problem in my constituency with, with employers that I visit on a weekly basis to say that they struggle to recruit people. Now, we're still stuck in Ashfield. 30-odd years after Blair introduced his tax, tax credit system, it made it so easy for people to get trapped into entry-level jobs, stop on 16 hours and get the wages topped up. You know, an unintended consequence of that is now we've got people in the 50s who are still doing the same jobs as they did in the 20s. That's no good for the people that stuck on entry-level pay, and it's no good for the employees either. So we've got to have that recognition that we're wasting talent in this country. And, and the previous Prime Minister, and I know the current Prime Minister has said it, that the talent is spread evenly across this country, uh, but opportunity is not. And it's up to us to make sure that, that opportunity is there. What, what, I mean, obviously the biggest controversy that's been happened since Liz Truss became Prime Minister was her now abandoned tax cut for the richest people. How, how yeah. does that go down with people in Ashfield and with sort of blue collar conservatives? Well, uh, let's be honest, it's all about the message. And I think sometimes as politicians, Esther, Phil, uh, and all of us, I think we're a little bit arrogant in how we explain things to people. Look, the policies might be the right thing to do, but politically, uh, and the optics aren't always great. So we, we got that wrong. But that said, it doesn't look good. You know, in places like Ashford, where a lot of people are earning minimum living wage on you know, 20, 25 to 30 grand, just about managing um, salaries in Ashfield, when they see the optics, and, and, and the mainstream media don't help either, but when they see that the richest in society uh, are going to get the biggest break, they, they think it's a little bit unfair. But I will say this. Uh, I'm not against tax cuts across the board, and I don't mind people being rich because rich people employ people, and, and I've worked with rich people before. But you know what? Saying that, Phil, we, 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 we're in a difficult time. We, we've got to move forward. And like I say, in future, if government can get the comms better, get the messaging right and explain to people what we're doing, what the journey is and where we want to get to, then maybe, maybe in the future we can get away with things like this. Well, you know what they need? Lee, they need you doing comms. And like you said, you're not going to blame anybody else. Great conservative sort of personal responsibility there. You're going to take the message out. You're going to say yes. what's right and wrong and feed it back either way. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us on the show today.